Hey, hello, this is Andrea, and today is Friday, the 9th of February, 2024. And it was 56 degrees Fahrenheit today here in southeastern Pennsylvania. And guess what? There's a lot going on this week, because tomorrow is the Lunar New Year. It's going to be the Year of the Dragon. And Sunday is the Super Bowl in the U.S. Where the, is it the NFL and the, NFL. And the AFC? NFC and AFC go head to head. And sometimes it's a good game and sometimes it's a boring game. It's the superb owl. <laughs> we will be celebrating the superb owl. Anyway, who do you think's going to win? I can't even remember who's <laughs> I can't even remember who's in it. I was kind of hoping that um, the Baltimore Ravens, is it the Ravens? I was kind of hoping they would be in it, but they they dropped, they lost in the playoffs, so. And our Eagles are not in it either. But um, also, I think next Friday, or next Wednesday is, two things happen next Wednesday. Do you know what they are? It's Valentine's Day, which is not a really big holiday in our house. But, and it's also Ash Wednesday. So, that means that Tuesday is Fat Tuesday, uh, Faschnacht, that's what it's called in German. And we eat these little donuts called Faschnachts. And um, it's also called, what's the French one called? Oh, Mardi Gras. That just means Fat Tuesday. <laughs> so when we lived in the South, they used to have Mardi Gras parties. I mean, we never got invited to any because it was usually, usually like people with a lot of money had Mardi Gras parties. And they'd have the stuff that would be red, was it red? No, purple and green and yellow decorations. And they'd have a special cake, I think it was called King Cake. And there was a lot of drinking. And that is the Tuesday before, the day before uh, Ash Wednesday, because Ash Wednesday begins Lent. And in Christianity, uh, you know, it's it's traditional to, um, yeah, give up something. It's like fasting. So, in the very, very old days, it would be to give up meat and desserts. But on Fridays, you could eat, well, on Fridays, you ate well, you eat fish on Fridays. Well, they still want you to eat fish on Friday. I don't know. We've we've traveled to states that are um that have a high Catholic um uh number number of Catholics living them at them, and and a lot of the restaurants and bars all year round will have special fish fries on on Fridays, and uh, it was pretty cool because. Bob and I love fish, so. I don't know. Bob's asking is if is that why McDonald's made the fish fillet of fish? Maybe, and the fillet of fish is made specially. But uh, I'm not going to go into McDonald's again this time and discuss McDonald's. I discussed it way too long last time. <laughs> but. Um, I do have a little bit of video to show you of a puzzle that Bob just finished. I'll show it to you right here. Here is the puzzle Bob just finished. As you can see, it is Spider-Man. Uh, he's trying to avoid the Lincoln Tunnel like we all would like to do. Um, how many pieces is it? 2,000. And here is the box that it came in. Marvel, 2,000 pieces. Who gave this to you? You don't have to say the name, just 
Our nephew and his girlfriend <laughs> gave it to Bob. No. Look at Bob. He's working on his hobby computer. What's so exciting going on over here? Whoa! Are you winning? Not this one. Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think of that? So he sealed both sides of it with Mod Podge and um because he wants to keep that one and hang it up so we're gonna look at poster frames and it's it's an unusual size so we're probably gonna have to get a bigger frame than what it usually takes and i guess figure out how to mount it in that and um yeah so that's a 2000 piece puzzle and i don't think i did any work on it did i <laughs> I put one piece in. There you go. It has my my magic touch of putting one puzzle piece in there. So, um, also, Bob made a lovely dinner tonight. He made two Cornish hens and fingerling potatoes and green beans. And I have a little video of that to put right here. Look at this fancy dinner that Bob made for us. He made, um, I forgot what, Cornish, hen. Cornish hens, fingerling potatoes, green beans, green beans, oh, and fingerling potatoes, and there's wine, gravy. The white wine sauce, and lots of garlic. Look all the garlic. Oh yeah, comes. look at the garlic. Hello. And that was delicious. We just finished eating that. So I did remember what I watched before. Like I, I was trying to remember last time but I couldn't remember I watched the video it's like a small it's like a short it's a short movie that I think they're gonna try and make a big movie out of and it's the one that it's called the court jester and it's um, Pauly Shore starring as um, so Pauly Shore plays as Richard Simmons who was I'm who is an exercise guru that we used to watch in the 80s. I think he was still popular up through the beginning of the 2000s. And um, my sister and I even used to watch his videos. Like we had one of the videotapes. He'd have Sweat into the Oldies. And he'd have these oldies songs. And he'd do these kind of dancing exercises, right? And um, he's very um, positive you know, um, positive personality and talks to you about accepting yourself the way you are and stuff like that. And we really liked watching them. And <laughs> it's kind of weird when I look back on it because I didn't really need to do exercise videos because I was in different sports. And I also, I ran cross country and I ran every day. I ran five miles a day. But um, in high school, people still called me fat. I think because I have a big butt. I've always had a big butt. But I look back at those pictures and I wasn't fat. So, but it was still fun to do those videos. Or, to, you know, to do the exercise, you know, follow the exercise videos. And um, it helped to hear him say the positive messages and all that. And I liked the video, the, the, the movie thing, the... Um, the court jester. I'll put a link to it down below. Now this stuff where it showed, it showed right before it came out, it was showing like Paulie Shore talking about it and Richard Simmons talking about it and him saying he didn't give approval for it or whatever. It all seems like, um, you know, just kind of like background hype stuff to me. I guess, you know, I'm old. I've seen this stuff so many times. I feel like I don't know for sure, but I feel like in the background he was like, okay, go ahead and do it, but in case I don't like it, I'm going to say I'm not interested. Because, you know, Polly Shore doesn't usually do things without people, without people's, uh, not approval, but if he thought that it would upset a person and stuff like that, so... <clears throat> anyway, it was very good, and the way it came out, it seems like it might be a prelude to making a bigger movie. And then I have to think, where did they get the information from for this movie? Because 
the only major book I know about Richard Simmons' life that has stuff to this detail is the book that Richard Simmons wrote himself. So there's got to be some kind of behind the scenes thing where like, they're like, okay, yeah, that's my opinion. You know, I'm not a Hollywood insider or anything, just an observer for, <laughs> for many decades. Um, not that many, but many. So what else is going on? Uh, well, yeah, I'm going, we're going to a friend's house on Sunday for the Super Bowl. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. That's all I can say about that. Oh, guess what? Bob and I might have an interesting announcement coming up in the next couple of weeks. There's another project we're working on. And, uh, we hopefully have some more worked out on that in a couple of weeks. So, I'll let you know what that is. But other than that, I guess that's all I got for you today. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.